Welcome to a special edition of the Government Information Service. This is Issues and Answers. My name is Elvis Thomas, Acting Assistant Superintendent of Police with responsibility for press and public relations. With me this morning is Mr. Pankras Albert, Coordinator of the Predia Lassoni Unit, and Ms. Kasia Mitchell, Supervisor of the Northern Section of the Predia Lassoni Unit. Good morning and welcome to issues and answers. Good morning. Good morning. This morning we are here to speak on the topic predial larceny. And gentlemen and lady, can you tell me what really is predial larceny? Predial larceny is the theft of agricultural produce. For instance, um, farmers um, were planting their, their produce, be it tomatoes, cabbage, onions, bananas, plantain, whatever as long as it's stuff that is being planted in a garden where there's a backyard farm and persons decide to take it without permission it is considered theft and the better word for it is pretty larceny but who just finished this are other um ugly a poison this are no other creole for a dance monarchy pass up bien um copan um um uglier Okay. Um last thing is a lemon pre um fritajo. Si se banan, kokom, l'onion, ne pot bagay ou ka plante a dan jardin. Isa also um a dan plas kodo kwa feti bakyat gardenu, a dan tilaku ko kwa feti bagyat gardenu. Like a moon point, ça c'est prédial la sini. Et pour ça, on s'apporte, on s'apporte un report by prédial la sini unit là, et nous qui dit le moon type zamoa. Thank you very much. Now that you have explained this to us, what prédial la sini is, can you now tell us what is the role and function of the prédial la sini unit? The role and function of the prédial la sini unit is to investigate all reports that are made to the unit and to also educate the public by way of um, school lecture, town hall meetings. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now that you have spoken to, to this, where can one find the office? How can one access your office and whether there are any telephone numbers that they can reach? Our office, um, the northern office is located at Ridge 4. That's at the Region Free Office. The telephone number there is 453-8483. The Southern team is located in Mikod Village. Um, the number there is 454-1708. Okay. You just gave us two, two numbers here, but is this service offered island-wide? Yes, this, it is. Um, persons can make their reports to the various police stations and um, we have already established a relationship where um, any report that is made would mm -hmm. be passed on to us at the, the, the unit. Now, I was just going to my next, next question, which is what is the process now of reporting a matter to the unit? And you have just um, explained a little bit of it, but can you go a little okay. um, into detail? In areas where we do not have an office, for instance, um, you could say Viewfort. Mm -hmm. You could use Viewfort Library, these two areas. What happens is that the people, persons will make report at the respective police stations. And from there, they will telephone us at the unit um, where we will come and investigate the matter. They will gather all the information from the persons making the report, telephone numbers, and so on. Mm. So, and this will be passed on to the persons who is responsible for um, dealing with matters in that particular area. So far, what we have done is that we have of officers assigned to particular areas. For instance, in the library area, I have an officer, an officer for Swazel, one for Souffre, one for Viewfort, 
and one from mm -hmm. Miku area that's in the south. Mm -hmm. And likewise, all the areas that we cover in the north also. Okay. So, si yon moun vole an bagay an di dan jade mwen. Um, ou pi tet ni yon office um, denri, me la also ni an police station. Mm -hmm. Ki les mwen sa ali? Es mwen sa ali police station na avan, ou mwen sa avi ni dwet an dan office ou pou mwen sa fè wap ou a ep den wat kai pon yon. Ou sa avi ni dwet an office la. Si yon bagay yi. So, we have to do it in the office. The office is to go over from 8 to 4 to the You know, lady for the day. 8 to 4? Yes. Well, if it's going to be done, then it's going to be done. Then it's going to be done. You can call the police station. And you can call the police station. You can call the cell number. You can call the police station. You can call the police station. Then the police station. It depends on how many grave situations are. Ça a commencé l'investigation, on a grandi au Vabano. Bon. Now, when, when these matters come, come to you, how is it that you go about dealing with these, dealing with these reports? When a, when a report is made to the unit, um, if the officer in particular was not the one contacted, uh, the officer would then contact the VC and arrange uh, to meet, whether it's on the farm or wherever it's uh, possible. And after um, statements would be taken, and um, that is how you'd proceed, proceed with the matter. Now, if I'm someone who's not able to move about that much, um, is there a situation where the officer can come to me and then, and then take the report um, because I'm not able to move around um, so much? So let's say somebody's doing the, um, working on the garden for me. But then now I get the information. So are you all able to come to my home to attend to that report? We always go to the VC's home, uh, only in the situation where we, we have transportation problems that mm -hmm. we cannot really assist. But then um, when the report is made, we do go to the, the, the VC's. Um, hardly ever you find VC's coming to our offices to, what, to collect statements. We always reach out to them. Now, you just mentioned um, towards the VC. What is a VC? A vi the virtual complainant. Okay, and what is a virtual complainant? The virtual complainant is the person whose produce was stolen. Okay. So, um, can I make a report on behalf of somebody else? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, you can um, sometimes you find workers mm -hmm. make reports on behalf of the owners of the farm. Sometimes you find... Um, members of the community, maybe because probably the person is an elderly person or the person doesn't have a telephone who would make the report on behalf of that person. You have been watching a special edition of Issues and Answers with the Predial Lassany unit. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Climat la terre a changé. Et ça a affecté nous toutes. Cyclone qui a venu plus mauvais. Gros de l'eau et que la prend de l'eau qui a détruit les animaux et plein. Quand la mer a venu plus chaud et qui a tué les places qui se pressent dans la gravité. La mer chaud a aussi changé de manière de se pressent qui a quitté l'un côté et qui a allé à l'autre côté. Cette liste a contribué à un petit usine de gaz en l'espace. Quand un petit pays nous a essayé de faire tout ça nous a fait pour assurer qu'il nous baisse à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi pour empêcher la terre. Et il faut pour baisser à ce quantité de gaz nous avons servi, c'est mitigation. Le climat a changé. Il a changé depuis que nous avons tout au niveau de la terre, car le gaz, l'huile et le chèvre. Et ça, quand on est la terre, il a changé plus chaud. Ça, nous ne pouvons faire tout le monde, c'est pour adapter. Faites tout ça, nous avons fait pour préparer et répondre pour ces conséquences négatives à la cause du changement climat. Nous tous, ça fait quelque chose. Par exemple, nous n'avons pas assuré qui nous protéger tout ça nous a planté. C'est vie fumier qui est naturel. La tête nous pour abattre le dommage en temps cyclone et godelot. Construire un canal pour de l'eau couille bien quand il faut. Et assurer qui le canal là par les ordres. Faites tout ça qui est possible pour vivre en temps de changement climat. Ça. Trouvez plus d'informations à ce plan d'adaptation national gouvernement et des marches ou même ça prend pour protéger le corps et tout notre set les siens. Thank you for watching Issues and Answers. This is a special edition. I have with me Mr. Pankras Albert, coordinator of the Predia Lassany unit, and Ms. Kasia Mitchell, supervisor of the northern section of the Predia Lassany unit. We've been having a very interesting discussion on Predia Lassany, and in part, Bagay Kote Munja Vole Manjo and Jadon. So, gentlemen, welcome back. Thank 
Yep. Before the break, we spoke of so many things reference to Predia Lassini. But can you tell us when was the unit established and what brought it about? Well, the unit was established in February 2008. And this was as a result of many reports being made to the, the Ministry of Agriculture. Farmers um, petitioned the Ministry of Agriculture and um, the Ministry saw it fitting to bring about a unit called the Predia Lassini unit. But were these um, reports not being made to the police before? It was being made to the police, but um, the farmers would complain that the matters were not being taken seriously enough, that people thought it was petty. And as a result, they, um, they would not succeed in um, getting a conviction for the, for, the, for the reports that they made. So that is why the, the, they were petitioned, the ministry was petitioned, and they had um, they formed the, the unit called the Predia Lassen unit. Okay, um, but now that the the unit has been established, and you said that the the police was not able to deal with it effectively, and now the Predia Lassen unit was established. Can you tell me now that it has been formed, how effective has this unit been in dealing with these reports? The Predia Lassini unit has been very effective, especially when it just came about. Um, what, but what we've seen as of late, um, farmers are really settling the matters. They want to settle the matters out of court. Reason being, um, they've said, they've indicated to us that all the time they have is to spend on their farm. And when they go to court, it's a long process and they cannot waste their time in court. So they rather settle out of court. Uh, Mr. Albert, maybe can come, come in and tell you about our um, problems we've been having as a result of um, settling matters out of court. So I guess you would like to share with us um, the out of court settlement. It is becoming a problem with some of the farmers. In most cases, they do take this out of court settlement on a credit basis where a promise, where a promise was made by the, the accused to pay the farmer a certain amount for his um, produce that was either damaged or stolen. And later on, the, he doesn't come through with that promise in paying. And then the farmer would then come back to the unit and, and query the man didn't pay him. And there's very little that we could do about that. So we are trying to discourage that type of practice. So you, do, you, um, do you get these um, situations on a regular basis? Well, right now, after numerous discussions with some farmers who make report, um, it has lessened a bit. So we have always advised them to take the matter to court. We have mediation now. Mm. In court, um, the lengthy process that used to take um, uh, when you have matters before the court no longer exists. You have mediation. You make a report and the report is investigated. If there is sufficient evidence to take it before the court, we take the matter before the court. Sometimes the farmer may have to come to court, either sometimes twice, or even if three times, maybe, that's all. And if we, they have decided to deliver it through mediation, it's an easy process. But we'd rather the court deal with it, and the mediation process is part of the court, court system because you will be fined, but they um, wasting what they would consider to be wasting the time mm. in court would be much less. So, who just did about mediation? Do you know who mediation? Uh-uh. Apatwa. Pour se mouna bien kopen, ki sa ki ka ifet, si yo pa vle ale fru normal process la, me majestwa ka ifwe yo fru mediation. Okay. Mediation se uh-uh. A process you near a, a court la a cholma. Pour tout ka. Pan uh, ka um, bagay kote moun vole zam moun an jardin yo. Pour tout ka. Ek is a process de vitman. Ou pa ka gaspi e tel matan ko lo tan pou mou te desan l'audience kome fwa ko avan. So, se le kis la kou ye pwem yu joua ma estwa ka y mando so ka y vle ale fro mediation ek matan sa la Exi se mou na dako. Yo ni pou dako. Kot la paka jos po. Un pou dako po di wi. Nou ka yale fru mediation ek mata sa la. Yo ka yi ba wan dat. 
ni mon anti fait report là avec mon anti qui prend ça mon là et puis il y a acide là avec un autre monde dans en chambre et il a décidé comment il y a handle ça ça bon juste dit des c'est mon ami pour d'accord mais oui. si on c'est mon pas d'accord oui, nous quoi si on c'est mon pas d'accord nous quoi aller pour entire court procedure so ça means nous quoi vivre pour whole process oui là. whole process là whole process là mais Um, uh, c'est mon cas pris d'accord pour médiation parce que personne ne peut pas monter des sons. C'est un bagage là, il est d'accord pour un chai. Except si mon cas pris not guilty. Vous comprenez Il ne veut pas aller pour tout le bagage, il ne peut aller pour ça. Now, I was just go, um, coming to say that um, some of those persons might say that um, because they, um, they may not agree with, the, with what is being said at mm -hmm. mediation that you are now sending them through the normal process. They might just say, well, um, since I have to go through that process, let me just settle it out of court or finish with that. But you have answered it. And I think uh, Miss Mitchell was waiting to, to say something. Yeah, um, I wanted to highlight that we cannot settle matters out of mm. court. That decision is made by a, a judge, the magistrate. So somebody has to go to court. So what we advise persons to do, if they want to settle the matters out of court, we advise them to go to a GP and mm -hmm. the, the two parties can come to an agreement. Also, I wanted to highlight that um, pretty lasting is a summary offense and we only have six months to investigate this matter. And as a result, um, because of that compensation that persons want um, and they take that decision on their own and when the, it doesn't work out, they come back to us. Sometimes it creates a problem because of the length of time we have to investigate the matter. Can you just sp say that in, in um, in, in part was so you know they can they can understand as well. Comment tant ou ni les offrant ou apport pour police la sa mene um ka douvan l'audience. Um, nous ni six mois pour porter un ka douvan l'audience. Um, c'est ça nous ka kouye summary offense. So nous only ni six mois pour investiguer ou apport sa la. Thank you. So this, this has been a very interesting discussion, and I'm learning a lot from, from the two of you this morning, and I'm sure the viewers are also learning quite a bit from this very interesting discussion. Tell us, do you have, since, um, and you just said that you have been very effective, do you have any statistics that you want to share with us this morning? Um, yes, this morning, um, for the quarter, January, February, March. Um, the Northern team has um, received 59 reports. Um, this, uh, we have not had any conviction so far. The Southern team has received 72 reports for this year. They have had um, two, two convictions? No, three. Three convictions. Three convictions. So is that more or less arrests. than the previous years? Um, no. It is less. It is less. It is less. Okay, so clearly we have seen a reduction in, in the number of cases um, over the years. Um, we really would like to speak to more, but we really um, need to end here. I want to tell you that we will invite you at some other point to continue to speak on this very important topic. And I know everyone is waiting for more from you from the Predial Lassany Unit. Today, you've been listening to and watching a special edition of Issues and Answers with me, ASP Elvis Thomas from the Police Press Office, and my guest, Mr. Pancras Albert, coordinator of the Predial Lassany Unit, and Ms. Keisha Mitchell, supervisor of the Northern Unit of the Predial Lassany Unit. This has been a very interesting discussion, and so please stay tuned next time for another special edition of issues and answers.